Let's get ready to rumble. Welcome back to Gonna Speed 252 family. And if this is your first time stopping by, well, my name is Clarence. And I want to thank you for pushing that play button. If you have not subscribed yet, well, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. Hit that bell button right beside it. So that way you get notification anytime I release a video. And just a heads up to everyone, the drawing for the C8 Managing Corvette poster is still going on. I have three solid posters I want to give away to each and every one of you. So definitely smash that subscribe button. But today's video is about my friend and his blown engine and his C7 Corvette. So I'm gonna admit, I'm still a little tired from the trip, but we here at Claxton Chevrolet, which is a Chevrolet uh, dealership that Mike always talks about in his videos. And uh, as you all know that his car is here because the engine's broken. Yeah, it's broken. And we gotta go figure out why it's broken. Because this Corvette is broken. And he hasn't driven it so long. And I drove all the way down here to help him, you know, drive along his Corvette and his engine is broken. And we gotta find out why it's broken. For a guy to have a Corvette Z06 with the engine broken, he showed darn smiles a lot. I can tell you that's for sure. Oh, that's a ZR1. So we got a ZR1 right here on the lift. I noticed it because it's all the wheels first. And then if you look at the top, it doesn't have the big wing or the small wing. Um, has a regular exhaust on it, black on black. Uh, I really want a ZR1, I'm not even gonna lie. I really do want one, but I just gotta hold it out for the C8. Clarence. Yeah. Clarence. Broken in me. Okay. Um, it's this lifter right here. Okay. Uh, collapsed and actually spun inside the lifter bore. And if you look on this side over here, straight down here on this lifter, you can see the camshaft. Okay. So you said this lifter went bad. Yep. Number seven intake lifter. Number seven intake lifter collapsed and when it didn't have any tension between the push rod and the cam and they spin there's a little plastic sleeve that holds it so, okay. so when will you guys know more i need to move the cylinder okay. and make sure i can get that lifter out no, no, no. Okay. he copied me on that by the way <laughs> he's gonna see this in this video I should probably get one of these for my C7 as well. I love this a lot. Sure. 
So basically, guys, Mike Brinko speed, uh, Z06 is broken. So the lifter went bad and the can went bad and there are some other things they need to do to figure out what exactly is going on with his, uh, his car and it seems to me they're gonna have it for a, a decent time frame. I know a lot of you guys talk about like the tires and stuff like that. If you ever wanna replace your tires for your Grand Sport, your Z06, or your, you know what I'm saying, your, your Stingray, Mike went ahead and got the, uh, the Continentals here. Um, and these are 35, 25, uh, and then you got the Extreme Contact Sport, and he has, you know, the factory uh, Z06 wheels. And honestly, I may end up going with these same tires as well. I kind of priced them out. They range anywhere between 13 to 1500, I think. Uh, I may try to see if I can get a better deal on that. But you know, they said if you're willing to buy something like this, as far as car wise, you got to be expected to pay the maintenance on it, right? So the maintenance on these things is obviously cheaper than buying a McLaren or a Lamborghini or something like that. Which Lamborghini is my dream car. Um, at the end of the day, uh, you know, I'm probably gonna go with the same wheels as he went as far as tires goes. And um, let's see how well they go. Supposedly these are really great in the rain and um, all weather tires. So uh, let's see here. Charles, you know, he has co 6 How this supercharger works. So here it goes, this is the throttle that it goes in. This is your compressor screws. So when it just compresses the air, and forces it into the intake. Okay, cool. And then these are the uh, intercooler blocks. Yep. Okay. Keep now, it, keep it nice and cool. Why can't this or can it go on an LT1 rather than an LT4? Like, what's the LT4 is pretty much the same thing as the LT1. Okay. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's just so different engine code. Um, basically, it's the same. Mode. So I can slap something like this on my LT1 and not have any issues. Pretty much. You might need to tweak your computer a bit, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you definitely did. I mean, it's... Like I said, it's super common. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like but I, I mean, like with I an LT4... Yeah, guys... because it's literally it's the same... It's, like I said, the truck that's sitting okay. here. It's just that we, there's a lot more trucks out there. Okay. So it could happen in mine as well, even though it's... Yeah. It could happen in any of them. Any of them that have those, the AFM lifters. Okay. Which are all of the V8s basically. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Alright, well, thanks man. Appreciate right. it. Thank you so much. Keep you updated. Take care. Sounds good. <laughs> you guys take care. <laughs> Don't you poke the bear. Hey, Clarence, nice to finally get you, you, man. What's going on? Just uh, came to get some video about my car. And What's wrong with your car? Bad lifter and uh, uh, camera. Really? Yeah. So he said the lifter spun and then stuck. You back, Corvette. Trace, welcome. I didn't tell you I was buying a Z06, did I? No, I'm kidding. I'm not buying a Z06. I just came. I just came here. Yeah. You too, man. Nice to meet you. You too. I came just to sit in the zero one, but I saw a sign that said I can't sit in cars. <laughs> <laughs> I drove all the way there, kind of just to sit in the zero one and look at that, man, golly. Come on. <laughs> oh, you gotta be. Oh man, hey guys, we're about to sit in the zero one. Oh man. Oh. I was just saying, should I buy one on Instagram? Oh, you should. <laughs> uh. Get this and I see it. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, man. Look at this leather stitching right here. Oh, my gosh. package, and of course, the Sebring Orange design package. Nice. The build sheet, and the original sticker tag is right here. Yeah. So, should I buy a ZR1 or not? See, Rob here got the great prices. And here's the total. Not to brag, but this one right here is black one. Is the lowest priced zero in the country under 900 miles in a one ZR. Really? We, if you're under a thousand miles in a one ZR, it's the lowest one in the country. Well, how crazy base, would it be? It's a, it's a base ETK. It's manual trans. Oh, he just yeah, lost me on that one. Yeah, I can't drive a manual. I can, but I don't really want to. No. The, clo the closest to is actually up near my hometown in Schaumburg, Illinois. He's two grand more, and he's got uh, 300 less miles. 
car groomers were number one as far as best value 